Question 1 The assent of parties to a contract must be voluntary. A. True B. False. Answer, A. True. Question 2. Sarah and Jesse are getting married. They discuss and orally agree on the disposition of all property in the event that the marriage is not successful. During divorce proceedings, Jesse states that the couple had an agreement as to the disposition of property. Is the agreement enforceable? A. Yes, it was an agreement made in contemplation of marriage. B. No, the agreement was not in writing. C. Yes, so long as the terms were reasonably specific or ascertainable. D. No, the agreement is contrary to public policy. Answer, B. No, the agreement was not in writing. Question 3. The assent of parties to a contract must be voluntary. A. True B. False. Answer, A. True. Question 4. A gift promise is unenforceable by the courts because there is an adequate consideration. A. True B. False. Answer, A. True. Question 5. Jim Bob bought what he thought was the prettiest brass ring out of a box of brass rings at Ida May's yard sale for 50 cents. Jim Bob thought this would look nice on the left finger of his 13-year-old cousin Lulu. It turns out the ring was worn by Catherine the Great, was made of solid 24K gold, and is worth $300,000. Ida May can claim this was a mutual mistake of value and get the ring back from Jim. Bob. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question 6. If a contract requires the occurrence of an event before a party is obligated to perform a contractual duty, this is a condition. A. None of the foregoing be conclusive C. Subsequent D. Precedent. Answer. D. Precedent. Question 7. Shimmy Shammy Incorporated offers you a job for $100,000 a year as a cotton broker in Atlanta upon your graduation. You accept. When you graduate they tell you the job in Atlanta has been eliminated, but the exact same job and pay are available in Buffalo, New York. You have a duty of care to mitigate Shimmy Shammy Incorporated's damages to you. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question 8. You buy Pop Rain's Beverage Shack on the Tuskegee Turnpike. As part of the sales agreement, you have a covenant not to compete which prevents Pop Rain's from opening another beverage shack in Auburn for one year. The courts will enforce this covenant not to compete. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question 9. The only copy of a contract is on a flash drive. This contract is unenforceable if it is one of the six types of contracts that must be in writing under the statute of frauds to be enforceable. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question 10. Sarah and Jesse are getting married. They discuss and orally agree on the disposition of all property in the event that the marriage is not successful. During divorce proceedings, Jesse states that the couple had an agreement as to the disposition of property. Is the agreement enforceable? A. No, the agreement is contrary to public policy. B. Yes, it was an agreement made in contemplation of marriage. C. Yes, so long as the terms were reasonably specific or ascertainable. D. No, the agreement was not in writing. Answer, D. No, the agreement was not in writing. Question 11. You contract to rent a room at the inn for two months while you are in summer school. You drop out after the first day when you find out Mr. Cochran is going to be the professor. 
you get another person to take your place on the contract and fulfill your obligations under the contact with the full agreement of all parties. This is a part performance. B. Como esta usted? C. Promissory estoppel. D. An ovation. E. A jurat of acknowledgement. Answer B. A jurat of acknowledgement. Question 12. Raffles agreed to purchase a shipload of cotton on the ship Peerless from Witchell House. Raffles thought the agreement was for the ship Peerless arriving in December, Witchell House thought the agreement was for the ship Peerless arriving in March. Neither party may get out of this agreement. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question 13. An acceptance of an offer is valid when placed in a mailbox, even if the offerer never receives it. A. True B. False. Answer. A. True. Question 14. Bam Bam may not assign the rights and obligations under her life insurance policy to her father, Fred if the assignment would materially alter the risk and duties of the insurance company. A. True. B. False. Answer, A. True. If one party makes a mistake in a contract, that party may generally get out of the contract. A. True B. False. Answer B. False. Question 16. Jenna saw a vase in a store. A tag on the vase said, Genuine Crystal, $125. Jenna said to Owen, the owner of the store, I'll buy this vase for $125. Owen refused to sell the vase to Jenna. In a lawsuit brought by Jenna against Owen. A. Owen wins because he rejected Jenna's offer. B. Owen wins because the contract was not written. C. Jenna wins because the vase was unique. D. Jenna wins because a contract was formed when she said she would buy the vase. Answer. A. Owen wins because he rejected Jenna's offer. Question 17. City, bank makes a mistake at an auction which costs the city bank $350,000. After the final bis is accepted and the hammer has fallen, city bank realizes its mistake. City bank tries to overturn the final bid in a lawsuit. A city bank wins because it would be unjust to allow the winning bid to benefit the high bidder by $350,000. B city bank wins because the mistake is so serious that enforcing the bid would be unconscionable. C city bank loses because of the legal theory of bilateral mistake. D. City Bank loses because it made a unilateral mistake. Answer. D. City. Bank loses because it made a unilateral mistake. Question 18. According to Mr. Cochran, courts do not enforce gift contracts because A. For almost a thousand years courts have not enforced such contracts B. A person's word is their bond C. Gift contracts tend to have a dramatic economic effect on the economy D. Gift contracts don't help the economy, they are merely a transfer of wealth. Answer, D. Gift contracts don't help the economy, they are merely a transfer of wealth. Question 19. The parole evidence rule generally prevents Leroy from introducing evidence in court of oral agreements which conflict with the terms on the valid written contract he has with Tater. A. True. B. False. Answer, A. Farm 2 Fork. Question 20. A breach of a contract usually calls for a monetary remedy since a contract is an economic transaction. A. True B. False. Answer, A. True. Question 21. Inferior performance is. A. The same as no performance at all be simply less than average performance C. Performance which is almost complete D. None of the above. Answer, A. The same as no performance at all. Question 22. You contract with the outhouse mice to perform three sets at your spring formal for $10,000. Other than the fact that they were drunk and sick in your formal, their sets were only 15 minutes long each. They want full payment, 
you don't want to pay them anything. You both eventually agree that they will be paid $1,000, mostly because they were the funniest drunk and sick people anyone had ever seen. This compromise would a. not be enforceable because the contract was ambiguous. b. not be enforceable because the rock stars are supposed to only look drunk, not be drunk. c. be enforceable because this was a unilateral mistake. d. be enforceable because this was an accord. Answer, d. be enforceable because this was an accord. Question 23 When a client accepts the services of an accountant without an agreement concerning payment, the result is. A. No contract B. An express contract C. An implied in-law contract D. An implied in fact contract. Answer. D. An implied in fact contract. Question 24. Kesha cannot assign her contracts to perform a concert at Auburn University to Lady Gaga. A. True B. False. Answer. A. True. Question 25 Handwritten terms on a contract usually take precedent over conflicting type terms. A. True B. False. Answer. A. True. Question 26. Squeegee, 17 years old, buys a car for $20,000 cash from Fast Eddie's used cars. A week later Squeegee is stopped at a red light when he is rear-ended by Wingnut. Squeegee has the wreck the car, now worth $200, towed back to Fast Eddie's. Squeegee will a. be able to disaffirm the contract but only get $200 back. b. won't be able to disaffirm his contract since his conduct was wanton. c. be able to disaffirm the contract and get his $20,000 back since he was a minor and returned the wrecked car. d. will win a lawsuit against Fast Eddie for dealing with a minor. Answer, b be able to disaffirm the contract and get his $20,000 back since he was a minor and returned the wrecked car. Question 27. An oral contract for the sale of land is A. Unenforceable B. Void C. Implied D. Enforceable E. Voidable. Answer. A. Unenforceable. Question 28 underscore is a person who agrees to pay a debt if the primary debtor does not. A. Borrower B. Creditor C. Guarantor D. Mortgager Answer. A. Guarantor Question 29. Fraud on the part of one party allows the other party to rescind a contract. A. True B. False Answer. A. True Question 30. Richie's Roofers Incorporated doesn't want to perform their contract with you because they can get two times the money from someone else to work for them. You agree with Richie's Roofers Incorporated to meet the other party's price because you are desperate to get Richie's Roofers Incorporated work completed for your project. The new contract is unenforceable as an accord and satisfaction. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question 31. Big high drug store contract to hire Anna Sue as a pharmacist upon graduation in May, but she muse receive her pharmacist license by the next December. This contract contains a N. A. Condition precedent. B. Condition. C. Covenant. D. Condition subsequent. Answer. D. Condition subsequent. Question 32. An award of underscore performance orders the breaching party to perform the acts promised in a contract. A. Salient B. Substantial C. Sequestered D. Specific. Answer. D. Specific. Question 33. You may not delegate duties to someone who is not as experienced, qualified, or as capable as you are to perform your obligations under the contract. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question 34. Generally, consideration must be. A. A bargain for exchange B. Of cash money only C. A and B only D. Of legally sufficient value E all of the above. Answer. C. 
A and B only. Question 34. Courts generally consider the adequacy of consideration in a contract. A true B false. Answer. B. False. Question 36. An email contract is. A voidable B void C. Valid and enforceable, assuming all the elements of a contract are present D. A violation of the statute of frauds. Answer. C. Valid and enforceable, assuming all the elements of a contract are present.